Hi everyone, we have x plus xy plus y equal to 19, so find x plus y. So let's write x plus xy plus y equal to 19. So from here and here, we'll take x common. So here remains 1 plus here remains y plus y equal to 19. Now see, this 1 plus y is in factor form and if we add 1 to this y, this will also be in factor form. So we'll add 1 on both sides, uh, so that is x into 1 plus y plus y plus 1 equal to 19 plus 1. That is, this is x, we can write this as y plus 1 plus y plus 1 let's put this in brackets equal to 19 plus 1 is 20 and we can multiply this with 1 because 1 is factor of every number now look y plus 1 y plus 1 is common so let's take out this common so we are left with x plus 1 equal to 20 so this means multipli multiplication of these two factors is equal to 20. So let's first check out the factorization of 20. We know 20 is equal to 20 into 1 and 1 into 20. And similarly 20 can be written as 10 into 2 or 2 into 10. And uh, 5 into 4 or 4 into 5 so these are three cases but here this one y plus 1 is always greater or equal to 2 similarly this x plus 1 is always greater or equal to 2 because we have x and y integers here so that means this first case is rejected because one of the factors is equal to 1 that is less than 2 so case 2 is Case second is if we take one factor as 10 and uh, other factor as 2. So let us take this one factor that is y plus 1 equal to 10 and this x plus 1 equal to 2. So that means y is equal to this 10, uh, this will become minus 1 that is 10 minus 1 is 9 and x is equal to 2 this will become minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so so we have y equal to 9 and x equal to 1 and when we add x plus y so that means x plus y is equal to 10 similarly when we take uh, y plus 1 is 2 and x plus y x plus 1 is 10 and their sum will again be equal to 10 now case third, case number third is if we take y plus 1 as y plus 1 as equal to 5 and uh, x plus 1 as equal to 4. So that means y is equal to 5 minus 1 that is 4 and x is equal to 4 minus 1 that is 3 and when we add these two that is x plus y is equal to 4 plus 3 that means x plus y is equal to 7 and same is the case when we take y plus 1 as 4 and x plus 1 is 5 so we have two solutions of x plus y that is x plus y is either equal to 10 or x plus y is equal to 7 if you can also check this by putting the value of, of x plus y in the given problem so I hope you have understood this. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.